The stones of Stennis probably represent some of the earliest activity on the Brodka Peninsula. Work had started by 3100 BC. This was originally the site of a henge, a level circular platform surrounded by a ditch with an external bank. And at the heart of this site was the Great Stone Hearth. It is a reminder um, that the massive fire within the henge would have brought colour, movement and warmth. So there were probably 12 massive standing stones, the tallest of which is over 6 metres high. The stones have sharply angled tops and it's possible to see if, when you stand near the centre how the two larger stones angle towards one another and mirror the hills of Hoy on the horizon.
The Stennis Stones stand within the heart of Neolithic Orkney World Heritage Site, a 5,000-year-old complex without parallel in Western Europe. Just a few metres northeast of the Stones is the Barn House Neolithic Village. The people who lived in the village, from about 5,100 to 4,800 years ago, built and frequented the Stones of Stennis and Mayshow Burial Chamber and the Ring of Brodga Stones Circle nearby. The houses had central hearths, stone furniture with timber upright supporting the thatched roof of seaweed covering the buildings. Ring of Brodga is one of the most spectacular and well-preserved prehistoric monuments in the British Isles. A near-perfect circle, 36 out of up to 60 original stones survive. The ring measures 130 metres in diameter and was constructed sometime between 4,500 and 4,000 years ago. And why were the stones of Stennis and the Ring of Brodga erected? Archaeologists think that the building and use of these stone circles fulfilled a social and ceremonial function, probably associated with the commemoration of the dead. It's a shame that we can't get up to the stones, but they're having to protect the paths because of erosion due to more rainfall and lots of visitors. Nevertheless, with the sound of the birds all around us and just walking around this circle it still gives you a really stunning impression of the site. Many many people come to visit this Ring of Brogger and it's not just now for hundreds of years thousands of years people have been fascinated by it and it's difficult to quite say why, except that when you are here, you do feel that, that sort of fascination with it. And I'm sure it will continue. Can you say it coldly that people come to see a ring of stones and you think, well, why? What, what is important about a ring of stones? And, well, you think about how these stones, which must have been bigger when they were first put there, how they actually got there and it was communal effort to get them up there and why did they get them up there which is an answer we don't fully know but there must have been a ceremonial and communal um, reason for it and, and so at the end of the day we don't know why lots and lots of people come to here but, but we, we've come and and it is fascinating.